Hello, today we will speak about the Philippines and we will prepare together, step by step, a delicious homemade pandesal bread. So this video is dedicated to all the people from the Philippines and also for my uh, Filipino friends from YouTube. Here is a selection of Filipino YouTube channels. They will be very honored to receive your visit. So please do not hesitate to take a look to their channel. Leave a short message and of course do not forget to subscribe. So before we start the recipe I would like to inform you about my collaboration with Umberto, cooking with Umberto. Please visit his channel, he will present interesting new videos. Okay, let's go with the Polish preparation. So for the Polish you take a, a box, a clean one, and then you put half cup water inside at room temperature, and also milk at room temperature, half cup. This one, this is first teaspoon. Ah, this is second teaspoon. And then I will take my uh, flour and take one cup of flour and add this cup here. And then I will take my uh, Muscovado sugar and we take one tablespoon. One tablespoon sugar. As explained, you can also take uh, brown sugar. And then you just have to uh, mix it gently. We just have to cover the box and then to wait four hours at room temperature. Okay, so four hours later, we open the cover and then you can see that the consistency is different. We have now a lot of bubble, a lot of uh, air, and it's totally, totally uh, different. And this, as explained, this will give to, to your bread a nice character, and also you will build gluten. So with gluten, you will have a bread with a strong bread or a strong brioche, means Something fluffy, but also flexible. Okay. So now I'm taking my egg. This is a complete egg at room temperature. Back. Then you just have to, to whisk gently the polish with the egg. Okay, so now you can add all the remaining uh, flour here. So 
this is in, in total uh, two and a half cup. So we already added one cup flour here for the Polish, and then we will add two cups and a half. So totally three cups and a half means 500 grams. Then you can add also the rest of the, of the sugar. So I already add one tablespoon in the polish, and this is the remaining quantity of sugar. So in this, in this recipe, I repeat, we have in total 100 uh, gram uh, sugar. And then we have also the salt. This is half teaspoon, means five gram. And then with your fork, you can simply mix everything. Okay, so now it's time to make a little sport so, and to get dirty hands. So now uh, I'm just putting all the dog or all the ingredients on the, on the table. And then you can start malaxing the ingredient. So here we, the viscosity is not high, it's not really sticky. It's not so sticky. The first step is to malax it without any without adding any butter and later we will add cold butter so now this is just relaxing all the ingredients and then here we have the cold butter in pieces this is a 50 gram cold butter means a quarter cup and then we will just add step by step the, the butter and butter will give uh, flexibility to the, to the dough and also humidity. So you see, five minutes later, the dog is, is, is okay. This is better. You see, here. Yeah. So you just take the ball, and then you create a little tension. And then now we just have to put the dog again in the container, in the box, in the Tupperware, close it, and place it in the fridge for four hours for the cold fermentation. So, see you in four hours. Okay, so four hours later, we can open the box. You can see that the dog is perfect. It is it's cold, it's fresh, fresh. Mm. And it's, it smells delicious. You can already uh, smell smell the, the dog. So what we want for the pan, pan de sal is to get similar uh, shape, same shape, same flavor, and all is about a ping pong ball. So I will just cut some pieces and then weight them to get 30 grams for each bowl. So it's 
So this is this is five fifty six. So it's too much. It's thirty one. So thirty one. Okay, I'm finished. It was very interesting. So as, as you can see now, the pandasal is not so nice. And now we will just uh, starting to create the shape of the pandasal. So you just have to, to make a ball. Like See, this is like a mushroom. So you pull here. You close. And then you do it uh, several times. So again, press it together. Okay, I'm done. Thank you for waiting. So now the important step is coming. This is a coating. So normally you have to use a fine bread crumbs and make a coating. So in this recipe, I will not use any bread crumbs. I will use uh, crackers, the same crackers for the cheesecake. So sweet flavored uh, crackers. Like if you make a cheesecake crust, the same. So this is a, in France we say petit beurre. And if you, uh, apropos a cheesecake, if you want to to make a nice cheesecake using a petit beurre, then you can uh, take a look on my uh, video with a delicious mango cheesecake recipe. And if you like also mangoes, then you can take a look to the mango lemon roll recipe. It's also delicious. And then we will just take the butter. This is not cold. You will grease a little the, the, the table. And then you take the, the pan de sal and you will just a little add a little butter here around and then here place it on the, on the, on the cracker, you see. And therefore I'm using uh, crackers because it's butter crackers, they are a little salty, a little sweet. They are more interesting as, as uh, breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs, uh, the flavor of the breadcrumbs is not so... is not here, yeah, there is no taste. And using these uh, crackers, these butter crackers, a petit beurre, a little salty, a little sweet, this is... This is uh, the big, big uh, difference. This is the the game changer. So I explain. Little butter. Check. Perfect. And then you do it uh, many times. Okay, I'm finished. I'm done. So you can see here uh, it's important to, to let uh, a gap between the ball. So now you can uh, cover uh, the, the, the bread with the plastic and wait uh, 60 minutes in order to the dough to rise. So just cover and wait uh, 60 minutes at room temperature. 
So regarding the baking, the temperature of the oven is 180 degrees Celsius, means 360 degrees Fahrenheit. Duration about 13 minutes. 